The Canadian press is reporting executives in the Green Party are moving to hold back funding for enemy Paul's bid to win Toronto Centre come the next election. This is on top of the confidence motion that's before the party executive. CTV's Michelle Boyer is in Ottawa with more details. So what's the latest uh, with this party that is clearly in turmoil? I, I think turmoil is, to put it lightly, it's death by a thousand cuts at this point, Marcia. It is really remarkable how the Green Party executive wants to stop funding for Annamie Paul, the leader of the party, who does not yet have a seat in Parliament. Uh, she ran in Toronto Centre up against Marcy Ian, lost that, uh, and so now she's been operating uh, outside of the House of Commons. And so we're talking about, uh, according to the Canadian press quoting four sources, saying that the party executive is considering a motion to block the $250,000 that would be earmarked for her. Uh, to to win that seat. So if she wins that seat, then she gets a seat in Parliament. And you know how important it is for leaders of any party uh, to have a seat in Parliament. So uh, quite quite remarkable. Uh, you know, I could also tell you that this is not, the, you know, this is really the latest in what has been a long saga for the Green Party. Ever since the defection of Jenica Atwin, who went to the Liberals, uh, we have heard from a party president, uh, Liana, Liana Canton Kusama, who told an online group uh, of about 500 Green Party members uh, that Anime Paul failed her obligations uh, when Jenica Atwin defected. So, obviously, a lot of fighting going on between Anime Paul and the executive of the Green Party. Yeah, a long saga in a relatively short period of time. And then we have this confidence mm -hmm. vote that's coming up. What's that going to mean for Anime Paul, Michelle? Yeah, so here's, for Canadians, the Green Party is interesting. It's a little different. It's very grassroots, uh, so to speak. So you have the federal council that is comprised of members representing all the different provinces. And so they, and they vote on different aspects. So on July 20th, there is a non-confidence vote that will be voted on by the council. Uh, if that passes, it needs 75% to pass, then... On August 21st, it goes to all the party members right across the country for a final vote. But here's the thing, is that August 21st, um, I'm almost willing to bet a little bit of money with you, Marcia, that we'll be in the middle of a federal election. So what uh, an inopportune time uh, to be voting on whether your party leader should still be leader in the middle of a federal election. Michelle Boyer, thank you for that. Really appreciate it.